the areas of Surrey. If you're planning to move here, what areas? So, as Rick always says, we're jumping right into this. And if you're planning to move anywhere around here, even in BC, give us a call. That's what we're here for. We want to help you. So, let's jump into this. You guys are going to start seeing my screen right now. So, how I see it is how you're seeing it. So, we have all of Surrey here right now. We're going to go alphabetical. We're going to go straight to, uh, straight to Cloverdale, sorry. But make sure you stay all the way to the end because we have six regions we're going to cover. We're going to start with Cloverdale. Now, Cloverdale is right here. I zoomed in a bit. Right away, what do you see? You see Cloverdale Athletic Park. Now, one thing about Cloverdale I have to mention, right off the bat, there's a lot of growth. A lot of new development is also happening there. So a lot of families have moved into Cloverdale. Now, mind you, Cloverdale is not a huge part of Surrey. It's a small little segment, but with dramatic growth. So one thing to remember when you move into Cloverdale is it's a growing community. A lot of infrastructure is happening around it. And that SkyTrain that everybody talked about, yeah, it's going to come here too. So as you see right here, we have Cloverdale. The Museum of Surrey also happens to be in Cloverdale. You see it right here. So moving on forward, because this video today is just going to talk about the general. We're going to go into more details at another video, talking more in depth about other areas. So like I said, Cloverdale is right around here. Not too far. You know what? Our neighbor right here to the east is Langley. A lot of amenities, a lot of shopping, it's grown a lot too. So Cloverdale, it's just a, almost, I don't want to say a stone throw away unless you got a crazy arm, but not too far away. Easy transportation, all the way to South Surrey as well, which is, you know, this is a little teaser for you, another area I'm going to be talking about. But you have transportation routes, which is sometimes great for people that live in Abbotsford or you have family there, or even to Vancouver. You can go straight down Highway Number 10, right here. So now that kind of done talking about Cloverdale, like I said, we're just going over general. But one thing, one great thing about Cloverdale, I have to remind you guys, Canada Day, crazy celebrations, right in Cloverdale. Now, alphabetical order, we're going to jump right, let me zoom out here a little bit, sorry, one second, there we go, there we go, and one thing we see right here, we see Fleetwood Park, we see Tynehead Regional Park, there's a hint. We're talking about Fleetwood. My office is in Fleetwood. I love Fleetwood. Great area. Very diverse as well. The SkyTrain will also be coming right up Fraser Highway. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. And you see 168 here. You see, well, hold on one second. You see Rona. Well, it was there, but it's right around here. Ah, there you go. You also have the Fleetwood Rec Center. Very, very popular watering hole is baseline spot and let me just do a quick quick uh show where my office is right around this area right there off 162 and 85 yeah right there and oh you know what we have the new samosa house that just started opening up but a landmark area would be Caltire. but right off fleetwood just at the hot the, the fleetwood highway here so many shops so much amenities when people are moving to Fleetwood, a lot of townhouses, condominiums are being built right here, right off Fleetwood. Great elementary schools as well. Also very quick access to the Golden Years and Port Man. So even still, if you have to go to Vancouver, you have to go to Quinlam, easy access. One of the great things about Fleetwood, sorry, I know my screen's moving a lot, I'm trying to zoom out a bit here, sorry. Oh, you see here, Holy Cross Regional School, I don't know what's going on my screen, sorry. You have Holy Cross Regional High School here. Very, very prestigious private school. So, now with that being said, like I said, I'm not going to go too in depth with it. Fleetwood, great area, tremendous growth happening here. Uh, a lot of development is also happening in Fleetwood. And you know what? That's kind of the theme of, of Surrey in general development, development, development. The aspect of having families come here from the west side area, like Vancouver, Burnaby, Richmond, coming down here, why? We kind of found more affordable homes. Believe it or not, yes, I know the prices jumped, but still, on a whole, because your land value, 
you actually get properties with land opposed to smaller typical Vancouver special of 33 by 122. You actually will be able to get some, you know, backyard play. So that's just Fleetwood in general here. Now we're going to jump right next to our next area, which, uh, well, you know what, we see it right here in the corner, just peeping, peeping right there is Guilford. Once again, Guilford, and it, it might sound it might sound redundant. I might sound like I'm repeating myself a lot, but there's so much development. It's hard to talk, hard not to mention about how much development is happening. And you know what? Let me just quickly say this for now. Yeah, I know I sound very nasally right now, fighting this crazy cold sinus, whatever this thing's been happening, but we're still here doing this video for you guys. So Guilford is right around this area. A lot of developments. You, you know, you, you have your, your malls right around there. A lot of condominiums, townhouse developments are also coming all around here. Now, I know Bear Creek is just a stone throw away as well. So I'm not trying to push that into Guilford because Bear Creek is its own area. Sometimes Guilford gets mixed in in areas with Fleetwood and Bear Creek, but it because it's so, so close. One of the most distinguishing parts of Guilford is, is the, the borderline of 152 here. But as the other areas that I mentioned, Guilford, when living in this area here, population is, is greater there. You have a little bit more strata. So you have a little bit more congestion, but not in a negative way. This is just more population growth because of how close you are to transportation. So if you're working in Vancouver, maybe South Surrey or, or Newton might not be the best, or especially Eastern might not be the best because traffic. So traffic is one thing to consider about how easy it is to get to Vancouver via the bridges here. Because look, if you, Guilford's right here, number one, you know, you got, what bridge you got? Come on, you guys, you guys know this, right? You got Port Man, right? Uh, we're not really talking about Patello because it's all the way down there, right? But you have access routes which is great. So, and, and, and another thing is we're not going to really talk about schools. The elementary and the secondary schools, we're not going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about that in another video. But that's the areas here. Um, also, sorry, you also have, and, and, and I'm going to just quickly touch on this, not too far, but right near Guilford, you have Boulevard Heights right up here, and you have Fraser Heights. Very, very popular in posh area as well and another private school which is very very famous is pacific academy now for this video we're not going to talk about fraser heights too much or Boulevard heights because we're going to talk about what the more searched areas are so this is one of the other ones that are more searched now like i said we're going alphabetical so we're not just going to follow this route here so what are we going to do we're going to jump right down here to newton and what's one of the things that we see here? Costco! We see Costco right there. Costco is a huge, huge attraction. Yeah, you might want to get there early because you get a little bit of a rush there. But you also have Kwantlen there. You also have a very popular cinema, which is always packed. Sometimes you might want to go, might not want to go there on a Friday night or Saturday night, especially movie nights, because you might get trapped in the lineup. You might not be able to get out. But you have Strawberry Hill Cinema right around this area right now newton is stretches because you have east and west newton it, it's really divided by what you see here is king george right so this side would be east newton anything to this side it's more west newton west newton is very very close and the borderline between west newton and delta is basically this 120 line right here and that's sometimes where all the the arguments come in people are like oh you know they might live on 119 or it might live on 121, but people live on 119. I'm from Delta, not Surrey. Whatever. They're right here. So this is that area. One of the good things about Newton as well is that, especially West Newton, it, you're also close to 72nd, which is very close to getting to also Highway 91, which is right here. So easy transportation to Chicago go to the States, right down there. But you're also going to Richmond or anything like that, right here as well. Now, from Newton in general, well, you know, let me quickly touch on this. You see all these restaurants here? This is just a small tidbit of all these restaurants. And then, you know, people like Krispy Kreme, 
technically Krispy Kreme is, you know, on the Delta side because it's on this side of 120th. But for the sake of it, it's there. So if you like Krispy Kreme, you might want to stay close to uh, Newton. So now we're going to jump from Newton and we are actually going to go to South Surrey. Now, South Surrey historically has been a very posh, posh area. What do you see right here, right away, right in this area, you see Morgan Creek Golf Course. Now, Morgan Creek has had a lot of development over the years. They have the outlets that are there as well. Great shopping. There's a Walmart there as well close to the border area so if you're going to the states once again amenities 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 south surrey is also in the works of developing a huge townhouse community and i'm not talking about 10 15 20 units i'm talking about 400 units i know rick's gonna say throw in the hoodies throw in the hoodies so i'm throwing it in there hit that thumbs up Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. But say I have subscribed, but please give your info. You can't send anything out if you don't give us your info. You might hit the subscribe button, but if you don't answer back, you can't send it. So hit that button, hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, like, comment that, but please respond back. We want to send this out to you. Jumping right back into it again, we are going to jump to actually. The last place I was going to talk about, I know I was going to, I know I talked about six places, but I didn't mention six, so I'm saying it now. The last place we're going to talk about right now is, let me zoom out right here, and this is the Wally area. Historically, Wally has not had the best rep. Historically, things change, development change, infrastructure changes, SFU is there. Our, one of the one of our popular malls are there. A lot of transit is there. New condominiums, high rises. It's it's almost like gonna be the new downtown. So a lot of things are changing. Wally is is a place that's promoting growth, promoting art as well. So if you're looking to move to the Wally area, what type of person would you might be? Now, student-wise, because the SFU is there, UBC is there, you got Holland Park, which is there as well. So there is a lot of infrastructure, a lot of amenities, shopping center, everything's at your doorstep. And especially if you are not relying on your own public transit, you're relying, sorry, not your own personal transit, but you're relying on public transit, then, Wally has that. It has transit. Sorry, let me just move this off here. It has transit for you all along here, right? That's where the sky trains are, which gets you right to downtown if you need to watch those Canucks games. Now, Canucks aren't doing the best, but you know, hopefully they'll, they'll do better. But with that being said, this is the Wally area. Now, Wally, as you can tell right here, is not so far off from a lot of the other major areas, such as Bear Creek down the road off King George. And you, well, what do we see here? We see Surrey Memorial Hospital. Very busy hospital. The staff there, great jobs. I've been there before. I've got some cuts on my hands. Things happen. They stitch you up. They get you back together so I can back to these videos. Yeah, Rick gets very violent sometimes. So, but I'm back on it, right, with that being said. So those are the general six areas I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Once again, I want to apologize for me being a little stuffed up today. I kind of wanted to sit home and relax, but Rick insisted we had to make this video. So I'm here making the video. With that being said, thank you so much for all of our subscribers, all the comments we're getting, all the actual text messages that we're getting as well, promoting and saying that the information we're giving is great. We also, also want to say that if you guys have ideas, something that you guys want to talk about, something that is really, really grinding your gears, as Peter Griffin says. Hopefully, you know, Rick puts a Peter Griffin thing behind me. Send us a message. You might not want to put it in the YouTube comments. Fine. Our number is here somewhere or wherever Rick does. He, he's the editing guy. 
send us a message, send us an email, send us something, and we'll try to cover it. With that being said, I am now going to try to go home. I'm out. I'm going home. Thank you again. Thank you for watching BC Real Estate Podcast. You guys have a great day.